Könnt ihr mich alle verstehen? Awesome. Okay, Heart of Transformation. Why is this important? Um, organizations change, sometimes deliberately, sometimes not. Uh, when we want to deliberately change the culture of an organization, um, we need to undergo a transformation. And this has been important for me because I'm working with Agile. It's been around for 12 years now, and um, it still doesn't come naturally to us to do Agile transformations. And I've been thinking why that is. And one reason I think is that Agile is focused on development, and Lean is quite similar. Lean uh, has also focused on engineering, and uh, the way Western enterprises understood the Toyota production system, they kind of forgot the respect people bit. And I think we need to start with trust. That's why I'm talking about the heart of transformation. Um, our organizations lack trust. Our whole lives lack a lot of trust. Um, we need trust in ourselves. We need trust in the people we work with so that we can actually start to believe in growth. I always wonder why growth, which is a natural state of life, is so fearful to us. To us. So why, do, why is it hard to think of a growing organization? Why do we need architects and all of that stuff? Like, it's scary. This was the first picture I found when I looked for transformation. I, I liked it, took it because it's scary. And um, if transformation is what we want, or we say we want, if I'm saying that growth is a natural thing and transforming is a natural thing, what is blocking our hearts? So I try to find the thing that is keeping us. I think there's a lot of coercion in our lives. It's in our language, it's in the structures of organizations, in the way we try to control. We try to insert certainty and that blocks us. So <clears throat> how can we start addressing these blockers? How can we overcome these transformation issues? And I think uh, starting from the heart, we need to integrate our feelings. We need to become more empathetic. We need to open up towards each other. When we want to have trust, starting with ourselves, then going on with other people, we need to show, express, and articulate empathy. And this is forbidden in most places, even in families and other organizations. So when we want to do that, and we're talking about organizational transformation, where do we start? And I, th I found something interesting about the metaphor of a bottleneck. If you look at a bottle, it's always located at the top, right? So <clears throat> I do fundamentally believe that in a transformation, the leaders need to go first. And if we want to help organizations to change, we need to go first for them. This is what makes it so hard, and this is why our job is so scary. No organization can flourish faster than their CEO. This is what I fundamentally believe. So if we want to inspire somebody leading a large organization to change, the first thing they need is a sense of urgency. So we could help them to identify they actually have a problem. This is where we need to start so that they can ask us for help or ask somebody for help. First thing that many of us say to someone who asks a question is ask your team, right? Ask your people. Ask for help. And the interesting thing that I found when I started two, three months ago with a colleague to actually express trust when I go into an organization to help them with Scrum, Agile, or whatever, is that something really funny happens. Managers hire someone, pay them, and that person comes in and trusts their people, and amazing things start to happen. So that manager says, oh, I could do that too. And he, when he sees the evidence, his trust starts to grow. So they can actually use us as kind of trust pioneers 
if we go in and actually trust the people. And what I found is that trust enables us to do, to see, to have a lot of options. We're usually very afraid of the dark, but trust enables us to kind of enlighten our context so that we see much more things we could do that could be if only we start to trust the context, trust ourselves, and trust the people. Um, trust makes teams great. If teams start to trust each other in a way that they can share what they want, they can ask for help, they know how to help each other what they want, then we have a shared vision and achieve something great. And I truly wonder why I ever thought it was possible without this. Trust reduces the need to push, right? Trust reduces the need for any coercive thing, for hierarchy, structures, push systems. So it enables people to truly pull the greatest things they could do. And I think we should rethink the concept of pull and of flow, not only for the ideas to cash for the product development, but also to the emotions. We're talking about delighting customers, and we don't talk about our emotions. How does that work? Right? How am I supposed to delight somebody when in my team I don't delight, I don't fear? So my message is go out and trust people. It leads to great results. Thank you.